Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to take one step backwards to the previous chapter where we talked about binomial distributions and here we're going to make a connection between binomial distributions and the normal distribution. So let's take a look at these three graphs. Here we have a binomial distribution where the number of trials, n equals 4, with the probability of success 0.5, looks like this. It kind of looks triangular in shape, so it doesn't at all look like a normal distribution. But now when we increase the number of trials to n equals 8, notice that it begins to look a little bit more like the shape of a normal distribution. And then if we increase the number of trials again to 24, we really begin to see the very interesting, peculiar shape of a normal distribution. So it looks like when the number of trials get to be relatively large, the graph that we get from a binomial distribution begins to mimic a normal distribution. That's why here we say as the number of trials n increases, a binomial distribution begins to look like a normal distribution. Now to find the probability in a binomial distribution gets very tedious and difficult, especially when the numbers get large, when the number of trials become very large, we're dealing with very large numbers. And if we could then use the same techniques that we use in the normal distribution to find probabilities, which we've been doing in the previous videos, which is relatively straightforward, we can apply the same technique to the probability, to not the probability, but to the binomial distribution in such a way that we can find probabilities way easier with a binomial distribution using the techniques of the normal distribution. So we're going to show you in the videos to come the similarity between the two and how it can actually be applied to also binomial distribution. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that.